Mega stacking. What is it? Do I need it? How do I go about it? Stick around and I'll try and answer all these questions. So without any further ado, run the opening titles. So, what is mega stacking? Well, put simply, mega stacking is just a way of stacking stacks. So, for example, you could go out and capture um, five nights worth of data. You could stack each night separately, and then you could use mega stacking to stack the five resulting subs. Do you need mega stacking? Well, that really depends on what you're kind of trying to do. I would say if you're doing long exposure astrophotography, then probably your need for it would be less um, because ideally you do always want to try and stack all of the subs on a target in one single session. However, if you're doing short exposure astrophotography like uh, a lot of the new smart scopes are doing, then you could get into thousands and thousands of subs and at that point mega stacking might become a really useful tool to be able to speed things up and organize things and also to save you an awful lot of storage space. So how do you go about mega stacking then? In the next section I'm going to show you a project that I've set up to demonstrate how to go about this but it's all really very straightforward. So without further ado let's go back to the desktop. Okay so first I'm going to do a quick run through of the mega stack demo project that I've put together. So I've created this folder called mega stack demo and within that I've created six other folders. Uh, now just starting with the stack all folder, if I just open that up uh, and we go into the lights folder, you'll see I've got 880 subs, 10 second subs captured with C star S50 of M51. And basically what I've done is to just stack those um, in the normal way. I used this script here, Astro Barbecue stack lights relax script. I then got um, a result.fit file uh, out of that which I've just renamed for clarity to result underscore all. So the next thing I did was to take these 880 subs and divide them into four batches of 220 and I placed 220 in each of these four sub projects. So uh, you can see I'll just open one up. You see we've got 220 items in there. I processed these with the same script as before and I ended up with another result file which again I've renamed called result1. Then I've repeated that process for stack2, stack3 and stack4. So effectively uh, I've ended up with four sub stacks and one master stack. What I've then done is created another project folder called Megastack and within that I have a Substacks folder, that, that naming is important by the way, uh, and within the Substacks folder I have the results of the four Substack projects, so I've got result 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, what I've then done is run the Megastacking script on that and that's given me the result Megastack fit file. So I think the next thing to do is to actually just have a look at these all these different result files and see what we ended up with. And we can make some comparisons uh, and judgments from there. Okay, so I'm just going to use PixInsight a minute um, just to visualize this really because you can open multiple files side by side in PixInsight. It just means we can have a proper look at them. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is just to open up the four resulting files from the stacks one to four. So we've got result one, result two, result three, result four. Now, next thing I'm going to do is just to um, put these side by side. So that's it, just, and then we'll stretch them. 
have a little look at them there you are and actually quite uh, clearly shows that they are quite different um, obviously some nights seem worse than others um, the field rotation seems to vary a bit um, anyway that's what we've got now the whole idea of mega stacking would be to take these four sub stacks and stack them into a single stack so we'll go back to Cyril now the mega stack folder and that becomes my working directory click open on that then we go to the scripts we click Astro barbecue mega stack run the script and that's it so now if we just open the result.fit and I'll just stretch that and there you are and that is a mega stacked result of the four sub stacks the so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into PixInsight and we're going to compare the stack that was created from the four sub stacks with a stack that was created from all 880 subs in one operation and we'll just see what the differences are. So here we are back in PixInsight. Um, I've just imported the mega stack result on the left and the 880 stack of all the subs on the right. Let's just stretch these a minute and have a look at them. So we can see there are some slight differences. Um, I suppose the question is, you know, what kind of differences do we have? Um, I don't personally think there's a great deal in it at the moment, but let's just zoom in and have a good look. Let's get ourselves into... Uh, okay here we go so let's just put them side by side there we go well yeah there's not um i can't really see a great deal of difference there is a slight color difference but obviously uh, color calibration and what have you would sort that out and um, anyway who's to say which one is is right and which one is wrong um but if you look at the general um, resolution, if you look at the noise patterns, I really don't think there's a, a great deal in it. Um, I will zoom in a little bit further. Let's really, let's really go for it. Again, I'm really not seeing that much difference. Um, we can go to a different area maybe. We'll try some. I'll tell you what, we'll go to right down into a corner, which is where there would be uh, a bit more field rotation going on. And we'll just compare those and see how they look. Um, well, again, there really isn't much in it. Uh, I think you could even possibly argue that the mega stack is a little smoother looking, but let's just zoom out to get a slightly different scale on this let's look at it at this level yeah it's really hard to say which one is uh, best or if there's really that much difference that it makes any functional difference at all um, um, one other thing we can do which is just to kind of try and push this uh, demonstration a little bit further is uh, I'm going to process both of these with Blur Exterminator so I'm going to just take the um, default settings for Blur Exterminator and we'll process each image okay so that's completed um, the reason I've done that is because uh, Blur Exterminator, if there are any fundamental differences in the underlying data, it will tend to highlight that, it will tend to exaggerate that. But again, um, I mean, we can just look in all sorts of different places if you like. 
again there's, there's really uh, they're so identical that um, there's nothing really in it I don't think um, let's just try and zoom into the core of the galaxy again Anyway, uh, I hope you found this useful and I hope this has given you a bit, bit more of an idea about mega stacking. Uh, I know not, that not everybody will agree um, with using mega stacking. Uh, some of the, the more seasoned, experienced astrophotographers will probably always want to stack all of their subs in one operation. And I understand why that is. But sometimes if you've got thousands of short subs and perhaps not a very fast computer that can become a bit impractical or even impossible so I just see that mega stacking is a kind of pragmatic alternative to stacking all of your subs in one operation and so to summarize uh, mega stacking can be used to amalgamate a number of existing sub stacks of a given target mega stacking is particularly useful for slow machines or storage as it will allow you to break up large tasks into smaller chunks which can be much faster than trying to stack thousands of subs in one operation. Mega stacking can save you disk space as you could just retain the sub stacks for future use. But mega stacking may not be so useful for long exposure astrophotography where there are a relatively small number of subs due to the fact it could adversely affect the effectiveness of the rejection algorithms. Anyway, as always, I hope you found this video useful and it would be great to see some of your mega stacking efforts in the future. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got any questions, please do put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for joining me today and uh, I hope to see you again soon. So bye bye for now.